speak, citizen. He preaches in Anvil. Appeared right after the attack on the chapel there. Sounds like the usual doomsaying nonsense. That Dennis Artillion is a little too full of himself. Sure, he's a captain of the guard, but I'm not impressed. I'll be honest. That Oblivion Gate out there scares me. And believe me, nobody that works in the Skingrad Guard scares easily. Bye. the way this one prefers it.
the strength and guidance of the Nine. Who comes before us upon this sacred ground, seeking the cures of the Divine Crusader? Step forward, adventurer, and face us each in honorable combat. For the vows we fail to revere in life, we shall uphold in death. No unworthy soul shall lay hands upon this sacred artifact without the leave of the Knights of the Nine. Ah! <laughs> 
Good day. The original order of the Nine was founded with the intention of safekeeping the Crusaders' relics. In love, we fail at this task. In death, we seek to preserve what You completed the quest that I could not. I'm glad that my death at least served to lead you here, as I had hoped. One of the mightiest knights of my day. It was a great boost to the Order's prestige when he joined. Unfortunately, he and I did not see eye to eye on certain matters. He left the Order during the War of the Red Diamond and never returned. Goodbye. the nine. I've not seen such strength. Could you be... No, you cannot. You are simply a noble knight. Walk with the nine, sir knight. I know where you may find the gauntlets of the crusader, for I was the one who lost them. Though many know where they are, they are still lost. I believe there is something you must do in order to retrieve them. Would you listen to my tale and learn of the gauntlet's fate? When the order fractured, I followed Sir Beric into war, taking the gauntlets with me. When it was over, I returned to Cyrodiil. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the weak or pity for the suffering. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. A beggar who came to the chapel each day for help tried my patience one too many times. I lost my temper and struck him. My blow landed harder than I had intended, and he fell to the floor dead, killed in the very chapel of the God of Mercy. I left the chapel at once, of course, but the damage was done. I was weak, constantly weary, and lacked the energy to do almost anything. Ah, yes. As proof of the deed, when I struck the poor man, the gauntlet slipped right off my hands and fell to the floor. Heavy as stone, they would not move. None could lift them. I suspect they lie there still, in Coral's chapel. You must prove to Stendar you are worthy to lift the gauntlets once more. Seek out the priests in Coral. Perhaps they can help you. We had only the best of intentions. Truly we did. We meant only to serve the Nine and the Empire. It's hard to believe it all went so wrong. I have no doubt that they still lie within the chapel of Stendar in Coral. No mortal man could lift them. It was placed on me for defying the teachings of Stendar in his very chapel. My entire lineage was ruined by this curse. Whether it is connected to the fate of the gauntlets, I do not know. May your sword strike true. You have my tribute, Sir Knight. In three hundred years, none have passed the gauntlet. In three hundred years, 
we have never known. But for the first time, it seems that someone may succeed where we have failed. I see in you the chance to redeem our souls and restore the order. And now, I must ask you to press forward where I could not. I must ask you to face the challenge of Zenithar. I was arrogant and foolhardy. I sought personal glory. I placed my own will and my own lust for fame over the will of the Nine. In facing the challenge of Zenithar, I failed. I tried dozens, no, hundreds of times to reach the mace. I fell each time, and each time I awoke in the chapel, I leapt again. I tried to enlist the help of the other knights, but none would come to my aid. The inscription says to walk in the faith, but even now, I do not know what this means. <laughs> Below the chapel of Zenithar in Leowin, there is a shrine to the great craftsman, Saint Calidus. Those seeking the mace must pray before the shrine. When you bow, you will receive a vision. Or perhaps not, it is unclear. The priest saw that my body never moved, but it felt so real. You will see the mace separated from you by a great chasm. The chasm represents your doubt. Your faith must be your guide across it. This is what I know. As I said, my faith was weak. I did not understand the test, and I fell from the platform each time I tried to cross. I have told you all that I know. All that is left is for you to prove yourself more worthy than I. If you seek the mace, travel to Leowin's chapel, kneel at the shrine in the Undercroft, and let your faith in the Nine be the salvation of us all. Our greed for the relics overshadowed our faith in the Nine. I can only hope that you are stronger than we were. <laughs> Casimir left with the gauntlets when the Order dissolved. I heard that he lost them, but I had my own problems to deal with. <laughs> Legends say that when Pelinol Whitestrake was slain by the Aeliads, a messenger carried the mace to the human settlement of Leowin as a message. Centuries later, the master craftsman St. Calidus built the chapel of Zenithar in Leowin as a tribute to the legend. When St. Calidus was laid to rest, those who prayed to Zenithar at his tomb began to receive visions of the mace of the Crusader. Of the original divines, Zenithar is thought to be the most in touch with the mortal realm. Some legends say that Zenithar has close ties to Kinnereth, an idea that is supported by the manner in which the two gods' realms interact. Craftsmen devoted to Zenithar are able to create and profit from the materials provided by Kinnereth's natural world. The two work in harmony, the natural world providing for the craftsmen. One cannot revere Zenithar without acknowledging the power of Kinnereth. Go with virtue. If you are true to the teachings of Julianus, it may be possible for you to find the shield of the Crusader. When the order crumbled, I set out on my own. After years of searching, I found the shield and brought it to Fort Bulwark for safekeeping. With the help of a few trusted friends, I began work to keep the shield safe for all eternity. I never saw my work finished. I died defending the fort from those who would take and misuse the shield. I never saw our work finished. I trust that the others carried on without me. Though we went our separate ways when the Order fell, we all served the Nine in our hearts. All but one. The shield is safeguarded within Fort Bulwark. It is protected, and care must be taken when attempting to find it. It lies in the southeast of Cyrodiil, near the Black Marsh border. If all went according to plan, it should be very well guarded now. Believe in yourself, and use your knowledge wisely. You will pass through unharmed, and the shield will be yours. Look to the southeast of Cyrodiil to find it. 
I cannot say for certain what is inside, but be prepared for anything. History and knowledge are his domain. He is the god of wisdom and logic. He teaches us, know the truth, observe the law. When in doubt, seek wisdom from the wise. Sir Ralbus quested for the mace after Sir Beric's betrayal. He believed that with the mace, he would be able to bring the rest of us together. He stayed in the chapel of Leowen for months, attempting the test over and over. He hardly ate, hardly slept. In the end, he failed. He left the chapel broken and beaten. Sir Emil found his body and laid him to rest here at the Priory. May the Nine guide your way. Greetings, Sir Knight. In matters of faith, one cannot be bogged down in the affairs of this world. Learn from us. Cast aside your treasures and serve. Sir Henrik wasn't drawn into the war as so many of us were. His mind never left the shield. May the Nine guide your... Greetings, Sir Knight. Complacency proved to be our greatest enemy. The service of the Nine requires eternal vigilance. Sir Casimir took the gauntlets to war with him. After what happened with Beric, who would try to stop him? May the Nine God... I wish to see you succeed where I failed. I was on the path to the boots of the Crusader, but died before I reached them. Do you wish to learn what little I know? I cannot tell you exactly how to find the boots, but that will be up to Kinnereth. I can tell you to seek out her priests, though. West of the Imperial City, on the edge of the Great Forest, is a shrine. You will find them there, and they will tell you what you need to know. The boots are safeguarded by Kennereth herself. You must be tested and prove yourself worthy to acquire them. The wars of men undermine the service of the Nine. Do not follow in our mistakes. Sir Henrik spent his days looking for the shield. He was so determined. We all were in those days. Go with Vert. I am at your service, Commander. In death, we continue the work that escaped us in life. The relics must still be guarded. Someday, they shall be needed once more. The gauntlets were recovered by Sir Casimir. One of our few victories during our time. But then, even our victories became our failure. Alas, my old comrade is not among us here. We do not know why his spirit did not join us here to guard our last relic. We were estranged in life, but I had hoped that in death we could be reconciled. For my part, I now know that I am largely to blame for the ruin of the old order. Sir Amiel takes too much upon himself. I will say no more. Go with virtue. 